it's Johara. Welcome back to my channel. So I uh, I just did a Barbie review for the first Barbie movie, Nutcracker. Um, I haven't put it up yet because I'm lazy. Um, and now I'm gonna do Monster High. I'm gonna do the first Monster High movie. Oh, should I should I like do all the Barbie movies and then start on Monster High? Cause that's a lot of work. I'm just gonna do Monster High because why not? It's my videos. I I. I'll just do the next bar. I'll do Rapunzel when I feel like it, cause that's the next uh, bar movie. And then um, I'll do Fright on right now, cause that's the first Monster High movie. Well, technically, New Ghoul at School is the first one, but I don't like that movie, so I'm not doing a review on it. Um, so I'll do this one, and then I'll do the second movie whenever I feel like it. What was the second movie again? I think I have a list on, of that on my phone, like I do with the Barbie movies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, next second one is Why Do Ghouls Fall in Love? Yay, that's one of my favorites. I think that's my ultimate favorite, actually. I might be wrong, but I just did a Monster High movie where I ranked all the Monster High movies, and I'm pretty sure that was number one. I don't know. There's so many Monster High movies I love, like so many. Um, so, Fright On. I do not own it. And I do, I like the storyline. Don't like the animation. I'm so glad they changed the animation when, when the, to continue the series. Um, they used uh, the webisode animation for the, this movie, then they changed the animation, which I was happy about. And then when they made the reboot, they changed the animation again. And the reboot is not nearly as good as the original, and the animation isn't a either. But uh, I don't don't actually like this animation they used for Fright On. Um, but oh well. <laughs> um, but I do love the storyline, and so that kind of gets me through the animation. The um, storyline is pretty much, um, uh, it has a lot to do with Jackie Laura's relationship with both her best friend Claudine and her best and her boyfriend Claude, who are actually brother and sister, Claude and Claudine, not Claude and Jackie Laura, because that would be just weird, um, which you probably figure when I mentioned that, I probably didn't even need to kind of explain, but oh well, that's who I am. So anyways, um, uh, at the very beginning, it's about it shows the, the schools at the mall, mall and um, uh, everyone was staring at Dracula because after she left the restroom, she had toilet paper on her um, shoe. But they thought she uh, she was staring. Um, they were staring because of Dracula and Claude's relationship because they were vampires and werewolves, and vampires and werewolves hate each other. And um, I think this was a great, great way to start out the Monster High movies too, like the whole rivalry between them because Dracula's relationships with both Claudine and Claude are a big part of a lot of the movies and it's good they start out with this issue um, to build up the movies and yeah. So anyways, so yeah, so Frankie says something, turns out they were staring at the toilet paper but then, but they're not, that's not what they're staring at anymore because now they're all disgusted about um, uh, Dracula dating Claude. Because, like, what kind of vampire would date a werewolf and vice versa, right? Um, but then um, vampires and werewolves started going to the school. From, and um, and there was this huge rivalry they have to deal with. And Claude sees his um, old friend. And Dracula gets jealous because he's spending all his time with his old friend. which um, And uh, Claude starts taking his friend's side. I can't remember his name now. It starts with an R. I almost said Ramses. No, that's Cleo's dad. What? No. It starts with an R, though. It's like something like that but yeah so um um uh and then Jackie Laura gets really upset and stuff and um uh she so the where so the vampires get their sights on Jackie Laura to have her join them and then the werewolves get their sights on Halloween who feels like she's in Claudine's shadow all the time uh they so the werewolves get their sights on Halloween to join them, and um, and uh, Crabgrass and Van Helmscream came to help, and then Crabgrass who uh, end up uh, they kidnapped Headmistress Bloodgood and Crabgrass kind of transformed into her, and Frankie figured that out because she started drinking from her finger like Crabgrass can, and so while well, Dracula and Claude were having issues and Dracula was with the vampires and Talon was with, with the werewolves um, Frankie and Laguna um, ended up getting some 
something out of him and just blocked his office that can, um, with the help of uh, Deuce's advice, uh, was able to unstuck because they found this new stone statue of Hemisha's blood go outside, which is actual Hemisha's blood go. So they found some powder that can undo it, and so yeah, um, and they free her. But then they get, and then um, Jack Laura gets a text from Claude, and Helen gets a text from Werewolf supporters, and um, then off all how many of them? There's five, right? Jack Laura. Abby, Helene, Frankie, Hemisha, Blogo, yeah, five of them gets trapped, and then they get they're stuck in the catacombs, and they have um, they, and then um, they have to find a way to escape. And um, Cla Dracula and Frank uh, Frankie, uh, Helene are fighting the entire time because um, with everything going on, Dracula starts fighting with vampires, Helene starts fighting with werewolves, um, and um, yeah. So, but then Abby gets them to snap out of it, because that's Abby for you, she's straightforward, this and that. Um, but yeah, so they end up uh, apologizing for giving one another, and they all work together to get out of the catacombs, and which is underneath the school. And, um, and then uh, while the, uh, Claudine and Claude, while they were trying to escape, Claudine and Claude, noticed that the two of them were missing so they were looking everywhere for them and then the vampires saw the werewolves took Jack Laura, the werewolves saw the vampires took Helene so they had to kind of um I went a little bit into the what was going on in the movies on my Monster High ranking too but I'm getting like way more into detail because this is an actual movie review just throwing it out there but anyways yeah so the vampires and werewolves about to go to war because they think uh, vampires think werewolves have Jack Laura, the werewolves think vampires have Helene so yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of fun. And because Van Halen, Scream, Crabgrass don't think monsters should interact so um, with each other. So they are trying to get monsters to shut it down. And so there's um, a group of peop uh, people that are supposed to come to the school see how the progress is doing. If the monsters aren't getting along, then the monsters will shut off, be shut down. But if the monsters aren't, then they will keep Monster High running. And um, but then uh, that's when Frankie, Abby, Jackie, Laura, uh, Helene, and um, Bloodgood all run in and stop them. And they say, uh, no, they didn't kidnap me, he um, Helm Scream, and uh, uh, Crabgrass did, that's her name. And, so, and then they kind of explain that they want monsters fighting each other so they're not fighting the normies. And so yeah, fun, right? <laughs> uh, so they decided to throw this little party, and then um, uh, Van Helsing Scream and Crabgrass walk in with um, the count, the council, I guess they are. I don't know what they're called, but they're they're like all everyone was like having fun with each other. So the council was all happy and proud of them. Um, and I was like, good job. And then they leave. And then um, afterwards, they the party stops and they trap Van Helsing Scream and Crabgrass in the room, and um, and then Cleo walks over, brings Deuce over, she's like, Hi guys, have you met my boyfriend, Deuce? Deuce takes off his glasses and turns them both to stone. So yeah, and then um, someone, I don't remember who, I, wanna, I, I don't know, I don't remember who, but someone said they uh, look good in the catacombs, so that's basically where they ended up, at stone, probably forever. Um, fun, right? Um, but yeah, but then, um, uh, Claw's childhood friend, um, uh, apologize for his the way he um, reacted with Jack Laura and yeah so and then um, I, I I love how it really got into Jack Laura and Claw's relationship I love when they do get into it because it's my favorite ship you know that one had a lot to do with the relationship it's but why do girls fall in love did Friday Night Lights did a little bit um, what else got into the well I mean, we got into the relationship um, Scare City Frights did a little bit are those the only movies that really got into the relationship besides the webisode? I think so, which sucks because they're my favorite ship, but they're not in every movie. Sometimes in- oh, uh, no, there's one more movie, um, what's it called? Uh, Friday Night Frights. Um, the roller skating one. Yeah, that one got into the relationship too. Is that it? What are all the movies about? I- oh, okay. Let's see. So, Fright On, yes. Why Do Ghouls Fall in Love, yes. Escape from School Shores. Do they? I don't think so, no. 
uh, Ghoul's Rule, um, they have maybe like one scene together too. Friday Night Frights, yes. Scarcity Frights, yes. Thirteen Wishes, no. Frights Camera Action, yes. Freaky Fusion, I don't think so. Haunted, no. Rio Bjork, no. Great Scary Reef, I don't think so, no. And then yeah, and there, he, then they didn't. Even, he's not even in the reboot, which is another reason why I hate it because like without Claude, then they can't even have my favorite ship exist, and that makes me sad. Cause Claude is everything. Claude and Dracula, they're like the best ship in my opinion. They're my favorite ship, and it just makes me really sad. But yeah, this shows the highlight of their relationship. It shows their differences, how they overcome it. Same with Dracula and Claudine's friendship, how they overcome it, and I love it. And yeah. It deserves more recognition. Claudine, or not Claudine, Dracula Lord deserves more recognition because she's my favorite. Um, and her and Claude are everything. And I love how this movie highlights their relationship really well. You know, it shows them having issues, but they overcome it because the, their relationship is more important than any little issues, little turfs, you know. And I guess technically they are kind of a forbidden relationship because vampires and werewolves are supposed to hate each other. And yet here Draculaura is, like her best friend's a werewolf, her boyfriend's a werewolf. Like, yeah, she's doing really well on like the whole forbidden relationship thing. Forbidden relationship, forbidden friendship. So yeah, <laughs> but it is Draculaura. But yeah, but so is Logan and Gil, they're technically a forbidden relationship, you know, because salt water, fresh water, they're technically you know uh, are supposed to be enemies so yeah that's fun um so yeah i love uh so far on is not one of my favorite movies but i do like it and i love the storyline and i love the dracula and claude moments and stuff and um i love the dracula scenes and yeah so um, i love the abby scenes too because i love abby she's like my third favorite after dracula and twyla so yeah so yeah um that's the movie then uh so i really enjoyed it and you guys should check it out definitely um the animation isn't perfect but it um if you like the storyline the way i do then you'll be able to look past the animation long enough to get through the storyline um uh, so please like and subscribe and comment your thoughts on this movie and what you think about it and we will talk later